Hey, nerdy sports fan, we're into week 11 NFL action, and we've got a divisional matchup here that become a little more interesting than we would have thought it would be a few weeks ago. Uh, we've got the Buffalo Bills going to see the Miami Dolphins on the road. Uh, the Dolphins have strung together a couple of wins, which nobody was expecting. Um, behind Ryan Fitzpatrick and some stellar defense, uh, they've strung together some wins against teams that you wouldn't necessarily expect them to beat. Well, that would be every team right now, but uh, strong teams that, you know, at least the Colts had real playoff aspirations. Uh, but the Bills went on a road and laid an egg uh, against the Browns. Uh, they were going up against a really bad run defense and only rushed the ball 20 times. So I think the bulk of their issue with that loss was play calling. And I see no reason to think that's going to continue. Uh, the coaching staff for the Bills is pretty stout, and they tend to fix issues by the next week. So I remember last year you, you had some defensive issues, and Leslie Frazier was good at making adjustments, and by the next week, those defensive issues that they had were gone. Um, that's not been the case so far this season with the running defense in particular. Um, they seem to have a bad run defense in the first half and a good run defense in the second half uh, the past few games, which is odd. Um, but the offense, when they have problems, they tend to fix it by the next week. Uh, the albatross really right now for the Bills has been the lack of deep passing and that's the whole reason you get a quarterback like Josh Allen, somebody who can just cannon the ball downfield. I'm not sure what's keeping that dynamic out of their game right now. Uh, they're just missing. Um, I'm not sure that's going to continue. Um, Xavier, wrote, Xavier wrote is um, he's very good. <laughs> they, they've got decent defensive secondary in Miami. Um, Josh Allen's not the most accurate, so going downfield might be a turnover risk for them. So I'm not really sure this is the game that they would get that aspect of the offense off the ground. And I don't think they need to go off the ground at all. They need to run the damn ball way more than they did last game. Uh, they need 30 plus, like 35 rushing attempts. Um, you know that Josh Allen is going to run the ball a handful of times. So between Frank Gore and Devin Singletary, there needs to be 30 running uh, plays. There, there just needs to be. Um, Miami is not good in general, but they're especially not good against the run. They're giving up 146 yards on the ground right now. Um, far more than what the Bills are giving up against on the ground, and we're talking about the Bills' run defense being suspect. The Bills have the absolute best pass defense there is. Um, it's not a one guy's absolutely superb kind of thing. Uh, it's very much a team play. Uh, three out of the four top secondary players that they have are fantastic. Uh, Tredavious White, Jordan Poyer, Micah Hyde, um, these guys are great. It's the rest of their past defensive players that are the targets that people tend to go after. Um, that was evident in the Browns game. Jarvis Landry was making Levi Wallace his bitch. And I just don't see Miami as having the staff to do that. Uh, they gave away um, receivers like Kenny Stills. Uh, just, they're not good. Uh, they, their offense is being shoestrung together by, you know, Fitz Magic. It's not because there's any one overwhelmingly talented player uh, as far as a skill position goes, or the offensive line is just manhandling people. No. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick is just pulling a rabbit out of the hat and magically scoring. Um, so I don't think they're going to be able to take advantage of anything pass game-wise. Um for Miami against Buffalo. Um, yeah, th this definitely looks like the kind of game that Buffalo is going to use to get themselves right again. They have a very weak schedule, and Miami's part of that. 
and good teams that make the playoffs beat the bad teams that aren't going to make the playoffs. That's how they make their schedule look good. Okay? The actually competitive games, you're going to split. It's putting your foot on the throat of the bad teams that makes you a playoff team. Not being dominant against other good teams. That's what wins you Super Bowls. Uh, but Bills will be a playoff team this year, and it's because of matchups like this. I think they're going to win this game uh, because they got punched in the mouth last week. A lot of it was their own doing, and I don't see them making the same mistakes against a inferior team in the Miami Dolphins. Uh, fantasy football-wise, um, I, I love the idea of saying, hey, start Devin Singletary, start Frank Gore, but the inconsistency of play calling and who gets play time is nuts. Um, both options, Frank Gore and Devin Singletary, are very low floor, very high ceiling. They are risk plays, but one of them is likely to blow up in this game because of how bad Miami's run defense is. It's just a matter of who, and you can never really tell which one of them is going to get the bulk of the carries the way the play calling's been going. So they are very risky plays, Frank Gore and Devin Singletary. But you are likely to get a reward from one of them. It's just rolling the dice on which one. Um, so personally, I've got Singletary in my lineup because as the season gets later, you would anticipate the young player, the more dynamic player, to get more touches. And I'm hoping that's the case here. Uh, they went away from him last week. They lost. If they go back to him, it's definitely a W. It really is. Um, Devin Singletary should be able to put up strong numbers against this defense, and I think he will. John Brown is extremely consistent. Cole Bleasley is up and down. Um, so if you have to start a Bills receiver, go with John Brown. Um, his availability is a, a little low, but... He is available in some leagues, so if you have an injury or a bye week that you need to supplant, look for John Brown out there. Um, Miami's skill position players are not worth starting at all. If they kept Drake, I would have said to start him because he was a very talented running back, and um, the Bills' run defense isn't great, uh, but they didn't. So... Do you start Walton? No. No. There's much, much better running back options throughout the league. Um, they don't have a receiver worth a damn. So, against a strong pass defense, it's idiotic to start anybody. Um, so, start exactly zero Miami Dolphins. And um, the Bills' defense is a very strong play this week. Um, Fitzpatrick is not going to string together a whole bunch of good games, okay? He's just going to miracle his way through a few. I would anticipate him having a real struggle against the Bills' pass defense, um, and that's going to turn into turnovers and sacks. So the Bills' defense needs to be started. Um, you can use John Brown in your lineup if you need a receiver, and Devin Singletary and Frank Gore are both high-risk plays, if you have to pick one, I pick Singletary. Um, that's what I got for this game. Um, I'm sorry, the, the spread is um, Bills are favored by six. I think that's right. Uh, they're not the kind of team that just runs away with games. So if I have to pick a team to beat the spread, I actually think Miami covers the spread. It's going to be a closer game uh, than anybody wants it to be. So... Hit up the rest of the videos for more fantasy football advice. And um, check out the Nerdy Sports Fan Weekly for general goings-on in the league right now.